Hello there, my name's Cheekster, and today we're doing Broken Sword. Uh, this is the first one, uh, Shadow of the Templars. It's the director's cut. I am aware that there is an original uh, which is said to have uh, more dialogue and more extra bits and bobs, but I heard the director's cut was uh, streamlined, which I think for videos uh, makes more sense because you know you don't want to see me click on every million millionth box, whatever it is. But director's cut is what we're going to go with. Uh, so here we are. Uh, options. What do we have? We've got audio. You got your music, sound effects, speech volume back. There doesn't seem to be any uh, subtitles. Uh, screen resolution, full screen, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. as you can see, okie dokie. No subtitles, uh, which is a bit of a miss, but not to worry. Let's carry on anyway. So new game. Paris, city of love, romance and dreams. So they say. I used to say it too, but ever since that day, day of the murder, I have always associated my beloved Paris with death. Emotionata horrificata. Okay, no worries. So I played this one uh, around the time it came out, so it's well over two decades in the past, but I remember the storytelling was excellent. I have no clue how to do it all again. Uh, I do see myself possibly getting stuck. I may be forced to look at a walkthrough like we all end up being. Who knows? I had to look at a walkthrough twice for Blade Runner. I just got stuck in the middle. It was unbelievable. Um, this one, we'll see. We'll see. What I, what I will say is the music is beautiful. As you can hear, it's got that nice, um, pleasant sound. It's, a bit like sort of a Poirot kind of thing. Um, it's in Paris, beautiful city of Paris. Uh, it's it's going to have the Knights Templar involved. I was at home having a bath when my editor called. Collard, get your ass over to the Palais Royal now. You got an interview with Pierre Carchamp. Yes, the Pierre Carchamp. No photos, so leave your gear at home. He has for you personally. Don't ask me why. Anyhow, this could be big, so if he makes a pass, don't forget. Just smile, say yes, and keep taking notes. So charming, and so very apt. Pierre Carchon was a media king, a national hero, and one of the most infamous adulterers in Europe. He and his wife Imelda were just one step down from royalty. Whoa, I hate miles. <laughs> but unless you humor them, they don't go away. That's not Here disturbing. I was. The palace of the Media King and the Ice Queen. I pressed the doorbell and set in motion a chain of events which would change my life forever. Yes? What is it? Madame, my name is Nico Collard. I'm here to see Monsieur Carchon. Come up, we're on the first floor. Sounds moody. A ladder. Madame Cochon, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, I'm sure. The Ice Queen was certainly living up to her reputation. The perfect Will circle. Will you be staying for the interview? Mademoiselle, I know little of my husband's business affairs, and I care even less. I certainly have no intention of watching him pour over yet another pretty little journalist. Pretty? You're too kind, madame. Haha. <laughs> okay, this has escalated. Ah, the talented and very beautiful Mademoiselle Collard. Such like a it. pleasure to meet you at last. Monsieur Carchon, I am honored. Oh, I'm sure you are. Call me Pierre, please. But I do not flatter you idly. I was a friend of your father. He was a great man. My father? He never mentioned. He and I were very close. And then his death. So tragic. I must... Imelda, your damned cat's in my study again. Another Ming vase, I suppose. That's all. Excuse me for one moment, my dear girl. 
You journalists are getting younger each year. Perhaps it's the rest of the world getting older, madame. That was no cat. My God, what? Monsieur Carson! Oh, whoa, oh, it's... <laughs> I was miming, and then he was just flinging fists. He's dead. I must call the police. You'd better stay here. There was a man. It was the mime. Do you think he... Well, I believe we can rule out suicide, don't you? No wonder they called her the Ice Queen. She would have been top of my list of suspects if I hadn't seen the attacker myself. And if I hadn't come across a couple of murders just like this already. One of the most important men in Europe murdered. And here was I, murdered. Nico Coulard, alone at the scene of the crime. Should I wait for the cops? Or start my own investigation? It was a no-brainer. A no-brainer. Okay. <laughs> I feel like she's taken being punched really, uh, really lightly. Um, wow. Okay. So move the mouse pointer uh, around the screen to discover areas of interest, which will be indicated by the animating blue circle. When the pointer passes over an object uh, with which you can interact, it will change to an animating icon reflecting the available action. Press the la uh, left mouse button to perform action. Dab dab. We know what we're on about. We don't need any guides. Or let's click at this. Mimes and guns don't usually go together, but I had an idea that this was no ordinary mime. I'd come across this murderer before, and written about him. The costume killer. At least that's what I'd called him. Catchy. What's this? It was one of my hair clips. My favorite, in fact. It must have fallen when I was knocked down. Can you have a favorite hair clip? Ooh, nose? I right. closed his eyes. It was the least I could do for the poor fellow. Poor fellow. I opened his eyes. Best to leave the crime scene as I found it. So true. <laughs> Can we do his mouth now? <laughs> We're not just gonna sit here playing with his face. Pockets, I don't wanna go too close to the middle. Nope, nope, nope. Some people hate searching corpses for clues. It's me, I'm okay with it. Reminds me of an old boyfriend. Uh. Carchon had been shot. In oh. his pocket, I found a ticket stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. Taking the ticket meant I tampered with the evidence. There was no going back now. Oh my God, she's so dramatic. Okay, anything in the hand on a stone? I'm not doing his eyes again. Uh, uh, and then, um, no, I think... Carchon had been shot. Yeah, okay. Can we undo his tie? No. Retreat. Okay, statue of dude. A bust of Pierre Carchon, humble servant of La France. I don't think you make golden busts if you're humble. I'm not sure that's a thing. The bookcase was filled with obscure first editions. It's such this haircut that she has is such a nineties French. <laughs> it's very good. Pierre Carchon again. And the His outfit, eyes seem to follow colour. me around the room. Da, 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 da. We know the window will be next. I just wanna be sure. Wanna be sure. No, we're not going out there. This is the thing with these games, you've got to run the mouse over every nook and cranny otherwise you're not doing it right window oh a small round piece of glass had been cut out of the pane this was a professional job exactly he's a shape artist miming his way through reality Ooh. The killer must have used a ladder to reach the window. He was long a sculpture. gone. sculpture. Guess he folded that ladder up, popped it in his pocket and took it with him. Oh. I didn't want to cut myself and leave blood on the glass. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to keep my DNA to myself. 
It's wise. It's fair. Right, okay, so we've looked at the bust, looked at that bust. Oh, books. Did I look at the books? I think I did, didn't I? It contained rows of titles I didn't recognise. And it didn't matter. Is there any loose books? No. Programming the Z80 by Rodney Zaks. Ah, the romance, the drama. The great classic novels had a lot to learn. <laughs> did you hear a llama? It contained rows of titles. It contains. Am I insane? I thought I heard a llama. No, no. Oh, uh, that's the body. Is that like the glass on the floor? That's just the body again, isn't it? Pierre Carchon was stiff for the last time. Yes, y yes, that is correct. Um, I don't think. What's this do? Oh no, that's uh, oh that's is that the settings? Yep, that's the settings. This is an infantry. What's that? It was a boat ticket stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. When I was a little girl, Papa used to take me on the Bateau Mouche as a treat. It was one of my hair clips. Can you use objects on things? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. Can we use it on the glass? I don't know why we would. That is a really pointless endeavour. Not a good idea to touch the broken glass. Yeah, you're right. Let's roll. The police could Ooh. turn up at any minute. Somewhere there were clues to the murder, and I needed to find them. I like this tapestry. That's very nice. Mixing like, um, like it feels like they're mixing real art in. I reckoned that cloth might just turn out to be useful. I know. It's like that, a golden cross, maybe the Templars? Even my fingernail wouldn't fit into such a small hole. I wouldn't worry about it. Aha! Uh -huh. yeah. Nico, you are just so damn good at this stuff. Instead of comforting Imelda, I was ransacking her flat. Why? Because there was something going on here, and I had to get answers before the cops arrived. And hey, she'd been rude to me, so she had it coming. God, she's just like my French teacher. Um, anything else? Can we close it? Should we close it to, to, to make it look like we didn't? No, we're just going to leave. We're going to leave it. Okay, what did we pick up? What is this? A key. Maybe a safe key. A safe key. Fantastic. Top notch. Let's move out. So I need to find a safe. Tapestry. A medieval pageant. Original, no doubt. The tapestry must have cost a fortune. Probably. The tapestry must have cost a fortune. Yeah, all right, we know. Let's have a look at this. It was a tube of acrylic paint. French ultramarine. French ultramarine. We've all painted with French Just ultramarine. Just the colour I was after for my bathroom. I'm sorry, I have to go. Someone is... Stealing paint. Dead. Young lady, what are you doing? Oh, this paint. <laughs> it's my favourite colour. For God's sake, keep the damn stuff. You're too kind. Imelda had talent. But I certainly wasn't going to tell her that. Because we don't like her. Can I keep walking like a crazy lady? The door was locked. Locked. Okay. Let me just do it. Just let me do it. I need to know. I need to know. I know it's not safe. Yep. There we go. You see, I've played... Well, I... During the age of these games, I played probably... Well, 
many. There are there are ones that I sort of remember that weren't even famous. Like you used to buy these games in these giant cardboard boxes. They're only just shy of being a shoebox. And in them you get a massive manual, which I think is lacking in modern games because I like a physical copy. Um, and, it and at the time as well, of titles I didn't recognize. At the time as well, like getting a walkthrough was even a bit of a trub. Okay, we're not. Should we talk to her? Oh, oh, there was two. There's another notch. A magnificent antique table. Too true. Even my finger. We've already opened it, haven't we? Oh, so good. She's closed it behind herself. So, hang on a minute. If we walk her there, so when you go over, do these circles show up the closer you get? Like they flare out. Ah, so it's these these warning uh, circles. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I can't see anything. I'm sure you're like going, uh, you've missed the safe, dude. And <laughs> okay, let's talk to her. We have to. We've got to get it out of the way. Uh, try and check. Excuse me, madame. Yes? Uh, oh. I'm sure when I played this before, there was a clown and an explosion in the beginning. Anyway. Uh, How you did know? your husband know my father? I have no idea. You didn't know him? Thierry Coulard. Pierre knew a lot of people I didn't know, most of them women. He is a jaded lady. Why would a mime want to kill your husband? Pierre had plenty of enemies. Half the husbands in Paris for a start. I am so sorry for your loss, madame. No, you're not. You're a journalist. Journalists don't feel sorry. Not true. We shall see. This is classic, isn't it? Because that's how you imagine French people see uh, British people. I am... Uh, fortunately British and uh, <laughs> each of us look at us look at each other with some sort of distrust uh, I, f I find that hilarious right why did your husband send for me what did he want to discuss I have no idea his business was his business he never told you anything no and frankly I preferred it that way this is quite a scoop for you I suppose you're already inventing the headlines. Yeah. Just because I am a journalist. Don't patronise me. You're all cut from the same cloth. Do you have any moral sense at all? Oh, I get to be good or demonic? <laughs> Evil French girl or good French girl? I don't know. Oh, my God. We'll go for good. Yes. That's why I do this job. You do it to see your name in print. As if. My editor gets the byline, I just do the work. Well, don't expect my sympathy. The police will be here soon, madame. Is there anybody you would like me to contact? Family? Friends? No. I have no family. Pierre and I were... He was all I had, really. Not much, was it? The dutiful wife? That was my role. He never talked, never let me in. I know one thing, madame. What? If you want to find out who killed your husband, then you let me do the job, not the police. Why? How do I know I can trust you? Well, Your husband good. invited me here today because he needed me. I think he knew somebody wanted to kill him, and he knew I could help. I doubt it was your database he was after. You're wrong. I was onto his killers already, I am sure of it. Please, you owe it to him. I don't know. All I need is a few more minutes to look around before the police come. You really do have a moral sense, don't you? I trust so few people. And perhaps Pierre really did think that you could help. Of course it wouldn't have stopped him seducing you, too. Here, oh, no. take this. It's the key to the drawing room next to the library at the end of the hall. It was Pierre's room. I rarely went in there. I couldn't. I was too scared of what I might find. Honesty. Truth. Thank Goodness. You. I promise you won't regret this. Is its this. reward in itself has led us to victory. We are the rightful crusaders. There was no one I needed to phone. Not until I had solved this case. God. All right, come on. Why is she so casual? We are in a hurry. Minutes. Come on. Get in there. Come on. The door was locked. Oh, are you really going to do that to me? Okay. Why? 
Now we were getting somewhere. Oh, we were. Oh, we are. Let's get in there. Come on. New room, people. New room. All right. Uh, traditionally, uh, it's paintings and safes go together. The paintings show the cachons together. What's this? In love. As the poet said, the past is a different country. Or did I read that in a fortune cookie? Could have been both. Look at that. Love. Shotguns. And two dogs. They were hunters. Not just lovers. There was the very faintest of clicks. Okay, I know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Because the edge of this key is circular, isn't it? What do you mean you don't know? Behind the picture was a safe. We're in a safe co. Paris, France. Oh, Francais. Uh, where was? Where can I go? Into yeah, that is it. What am I doing? The puzzles are so easy. <laughs> he says in the beginning of the game. Uh, this looks like a rusted piece of. Something. In the safe was some kind of artifact. There were strange symbols yeah. on its surface. What's all these random hole bits? It looked like the printer's blocks I'd made at art school. If there was one thing I'd learned about symbols, they are always important. But these symbols scratched into stone were impossible to read. I needed to find a way of printing them. Like the cloth. At least the stone was round. But what yeah, could yeah. I use for ink? And what could I print on? Sure, I was stealing, but okay. I knew Imelda didn't know about the artifact. Yeah. And Carchon was past carrying. Okay, we're gonna we need to find a rolly it's like a rolling pin. Is that a motorcycle? Um yeah. Light switch. I didn't need the lights on. It was light enough already. Okay. Let's have a look at the chair. This wasn't the time for me to lie on this sofa doing my Marie Antoinette impression. Though it is very popular at parties, especially with gay guys. Don't ask me why. I don't even... I'm I'm not even in that world, I couldn't possibly tell you. Um, could I roll the thing on this board, on this table, take an impression? As expected, the desk was yet another priceless antique yawn. The blotter and in-tray had clearly been placed with mathematical precision. Okay, people. What is this? The cloth was embroidered with an unusual symbol. The artifact? Right, well, obviously we'll do this. this. Rolling the cylinder in the tray for no good reason would be just plain silly. Okay. The blotter was flat already. Rolling the cylinder across it would achieve nothing. What's this? My heart skipped a beat. It was a carved elephant. But not just any carved elephant. It had been made by my father. I knew for certain because in my apartment I had its exact twin, carved into a box he had made. So Carchon had known my father. They really must have been friends. I decided to take the carved elephant. It clearly meant nothing to Imelda. We must wait for the dog to stop barking. Alright, so we're looking at this stuff. Let's have a think. We've got paint in the tray. Ultramarine. Do you know ultramarine is a really beautiful I'd blue. I'd spread blue paint over the bottom of the tray. It was ruined. I was a very bad, bad girl. But also quite a clever one. <laughs> okay. I already really enjoy the dialogue. Yeah, that's it. 
large ultramarine. I rolled the artifact in the paint until it was completely coated. Yeah. Uh, try that. Um, no. Um, no. Okay. An antique tray with paint spread all over it. Not a lot I could do with that. That's not true. There is a symbol. A symbol of the Templares. What is this? What is this? I didn't need a sheet of blotting paper. Not while it was blank. It was a sheet of blotting paper in a leather holder. Yeah. Its cracked surface looked ancient. Reminded me of its owner. She, I would have done this blue thing on... No, maybe that doesn't make sense. Hold on. Um, doesn't make um, sense. No. Yeah, I know, I know. She's very judgmental. There wasn't enough paint left in... Okay, okay. Oh, because the excess paint is on it in Genius. the tray. The roller and the paint worked just as I planned... But what did it say? I don't know. To me, it looks like it says sub juicy SOS DSSS. Um, I don't know what sub juicy is, though. So. Well, haven't it? It was some kind of coded message. It read sub judici. I may mm -hmm. not have learned a lot as a journalist, but that was a term I knew well. It means a legal case that is before the courts. Below it was a sequence of letters that made no sense. Like sub-justice. I suddenly realized there was a connection between the boat ticket and the coded message. The boat ticket was stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. The Conciergerie on the Ile de la Cité, by the river, housed the ancient law courts. So, sub judice could in this case mean literally under the law courts below the conciergerie. I was pretty sure I'd found all I could here. And besides, all this opulence was making me pine for my regular life of poverty. This was a oh, huge yeah. story. It was also one heck of a puzzle with a lot of pieces missing. But I was going to crack it. And if I could just remember the name of that fancy prize you get for being an ace journalist, I was definitely going to win it this time. I like this character. She is uh, dogged. She's keen. She's keen on victory. Come on. Locked. Not surprising, really. Okay. We've done the table, done the door, done the painting, fireplace, chandelier. We've done the coach, the couch, the coucher. Okay. I get what the character says, though. Like, um,. How would you turn the light on and off, though? Maybe to see something that is hidden. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's move on. They probably won't let me leave if I've missed anything, anyway. Let's talk to her. Did you find anything useful? This carving. Do you know anything about it? It was Pierre's. What does the statue have to do with... Please, I need to know. He was given it by a friend, something to do with Africa. He never explained any more? No, but I think it was important to him, always on display. Why? It was carved by my father. Oh, I see. I didn't know. Imelda, I will do everything I can to find the killer. Thank you, my dear. And if the police ask... Don't worry. You were never here. sub judice was the key. I was going to have to find a way under the conciergerie. I decided to head straight for the quayside on the Ile de la Cité. If there was a way of getting under the conciergerie, it would have to be from there. Okay. Conchon wasn't the type for messing about on the river. He was up to something down here. Something that got him killed. Oui, oui. Yes, come on. An old boyfriend of mine owned a barge once. Dampest relationship I ever had. In every way. 
she laughing? Or <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, I love a joke. Can we get in there? The fence wouldn't move. This fence was a permanent fixture. It was the old boathouse for the conciergerie. If I was right about the meaning of subjudice, then the answer had to lie somewhere here on the quayside. How much ground is there? Let's try this place as well. What's that? Hold on. This fence wouldn't move either. Symbol. I'm not going upstairs. This is the Templar symbol. And I know it's Templars because it was in the title. Familiar. I'd seen it before. It was embroidered on the lace cloth I'd picked up at Carchon's apartment. I knew I was on the right track. I tried pushing the fence, but it wouldn't move. A strange pair of locks stopped the latches from releasing the gate. Okay. Well, let's just look at one. Uh oh, guys, it's a puzzle. You must move the rectangular blocks so the latch can slide all the uh, all the way across. So releasing the gate to open blocks, uh, move along their length, some vertically, some horizontally. If you see any cuts in this video, it's because I've been on this puzzle for too long. Oh no, wait, wait. Can you bring it over? You can. Uh. Oh, it doesn't go. No. Okay. Oh, they don't all move the same way. Donkey Maguire. Name of Beelzebub. Have at the. What the? There's no justice. No, it just goes down. Can I slide right across? Okay. No, he's just a nappy. Oh my god. It's so easy. Um, so. Yes. One down, one to go. Okay, we did that. Plays ball. Who's gonna play ball here? Okay, whatever. Wabba, 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 whoop, whoop, wabba, wub, whip, 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 wubs. Don't tootin. Nothing like a good convent education for honing your lockpicking skills. A convent? 
Okay. <laughs> mysterious, mischievous nuns. For a room full of junk, that was one very sophisticated lock system. This place was definitely fishy. In more ways than one. Okay, so that's a rubbish boat. It's like even beyond the bare minimum of a boat. Oh, what's that? Oops. An old shell case. I wondered what God. that was doing there. Can you imagine if that was your daughter? She'd be wildly uh, annoying. Moving a skiff would only damage it more. I think it's beyond any support. What did we just pick up? The brass case was smooth and perfectly round. It looks like a bullet case. She's gonna say no, no, no. Yep, there you go. The words sinister and dexter were carved on either side. Now any good convent girl like me knows the old Roman for left, right, left, right. But what did it mean here? Hold on. Uh, was it S D S S D S S? S D. Nothing <laughs> happened. What? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Hold on. Tubular? No. Did tubular not work? No. Okay. How about elephant? No. That elephant will be useful. What about the actual tube? Yeah, I thought so. It's got the nodgets in as well, like a Mystery key. Mystery solved. Carchon's stone cylinder slotted into the hole with a satisfying click. Okay, so what was it? It was S D S S D S S S A satisfying click D Another click Another step closer S S D S S I love the sound of locks clicking open. We did it. That dog. So much patience to record. Okay, so we click on that. We take it back. I removed the stone cylinder. We might need it again. Okay, we're in a crypt of sorts. Uh, the immediate standout is the symbol. Uh, the floor seems relatively uneventful. Okay. Oh my god! The slab came down with a hell of a force. Over there. With nothing to hold it up, the cross dropped back down again. If I. Oops. Oops. Do I get. But she. What did she say? Lifting the cross closed the entrance door and also opened some kind of stone panel. Ingenious. Okay. Casing. To hold it in place. The stone cross was propped up. Now I was getting somewhere. Oh, we oui, we. Oui. Let's do it. Click on that. I touched the slot. Nothing bad happened, which was good. I've always been attached to my fingers. This slot was designed for something specific. But what? How about 
Dann noch gehen. The artifact slotted into the hole perfectly. Behind the old walls, I could hear some kind of mechanism groaning into life. But whatever had been triggered had now jammed. Okay. Let's roll. Oh, I wish he had like double click to run. That's where Blade Runner was really winning. The gap was too thin for me to get a grip. I needed something thin enough to prise the door open. Okay. Should we use our hair clip again? It's not being discarded, so. Uh, I gotta put it on the circle. There we go. I was going to need something a lot stronger than a hair clip to free the door. Oh, I know, I know. It was hopeful. Uh, key. Let's take this. I removed the shell case. The cross didn't drop back down. Some kind of mechanism was holding it up. Can we the take cross, the cross didn't drop back. Okay, um I know the tube is not gonna work. The gap was too narrow. I needed something flatter to work into it. Oh this person. Okay. Flatter. Oops. Flatter. What we got? It was this? a boat ticket stamped boat Bateau ticket, de la Conciergerie. Cloth, print. Key. A safe key. It was the drawing room key. A safe key. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, god damn it. Okay, um. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Bear with me. Uh, no. It was the beautiful elephant my father had carved. Uh, no. Thought maybe you could break a piece off. Okay, no worries. Um. A hidden door. This was getting interesting. Shame the mechanism jammed. I was going to have to find a way to prise it open. Okay, okay. There is literally three, four nodgets of, of interest. I can't see, I'm not able to break that off. The cross was firmly propped up. The cross. Oops, yeah. Uh, nope. Should we take this out? Try this. <laughs> Ooh. The slab was too heavy for me to lift. That's not gonna work, is it? I know it's not. Okay, okay. We need something like a shovel. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Go back. Ut lex vel ut next sumito. To the law or unto death, submit. I guess these people didn't believe in liberté, égalité, or fraternity. Yes, I'll admit it. I was a swat at school. I also wore lipstick and the nuns never knew. She is a perpetual rascal. Okay. We need something stiff and flat. That's what I said. The stone slab had flattened one end of the shell case. They call me a genius. It's a, uh, it's a name I've got used to. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on, come on. I like the puzzle. Though. That was a nice puzzle. Um, I needed a gap for leverage. 
Leverage. The slab was too heavy. F okay. Um. Huh. What do I need? Any? No, no. Okay. Okay. We'll take that. Then we do that again. I needed a gap for leverage. Maybe we put something else there to stop it from moving. What about one of the other keys? I took the stone cylinder. Okay. Um, lift. Key. This wouldn't hold the cross up. But I was on the right track. I needed to use something sturdier. This wouldn't hold the cross. I needed to. Something sturdier. What about elephant? What's wrong with elephant? Okay. She doesn't like elephant. Um. That's flattened, but I need that thing, don't I, to do the th Sure, if it's been flattened, it's not going to hold it. She seemed to pause a bit there. I removed the shell case. Okay, people, I think I've done it. I was about to say, what more did she need? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Another good use for a shell case. Another secret room. Better than that Somebody had knife. something to hide. Mm -hmm. But was it what I was looking for? Okay, what was this? It's like an old French aristocrat hideout. Wow! Through the darkness, I could see that this was a stateroom. But for what purpose? And how did it tie in with Carchon? Okay. We've got a torch? No. Right, well, we can't see anything. We just walk back close to the door. What's this? Where's she going? Go on. Amazing. The oh, sorry. Okay, cool. Wow. It's Illuminati. A door like that always has something important behind it. I had to find a way to unlock it. Could this key be universal? No. What's this? That wasn't going to... Oh, hang on, hang on. What about the... Oh, no, we've taken the thing out of me. Oh, whoops. Wait, 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 wait. Because that's like the size of that plug hole thing. Turning it? the lights off wasn't going to help. No, I didn't mean to do that. That was more sensible. Oh, she's so judgmental. If I take the floppity dop, will that mean that it's completely wibbled? In the name of wibbles. Okay, fine. We got wibbled. Okay, no worries. Put the widget in there. 
put the flumpy tube in there. So that's flumped. Can't argue with a good flumpage. Now we're in. What if we take the wibble stick? I removed the shell case. Yeah, that's right. And everything's fine. Okay, so we can't take out that. What's this? She needs trainers. She's too slow. I wasn't going to find anything in this old desk. It hadn't been used for years. Well, that's pretty quick to think that. What we're we looking at, what? The flags had faded, but their message was still pretty clear. Oh, well. Fast. Oh. Draw. Just try it. Don't worry about the age. Inside the drawer, I found a note written in some kind of code. Okay. Let's see. Oh, for... Okay. This note has been written uh, using a substitution cipher. This means that the a different symbol has been used to represent each letter of the alphabet. Okay. To crack the code, you must correctly match all the symbols to their corresponding letters and highlight a symbol. Then highlight the corresponding letter. If you make a mistake, click on go back, uh, the button to step back, or you can reset the whole puzzle by clicking the reset button. Understood. That is reset, I assume. Now let's go back. Uh, <coughs> okay, guys. What is that? So that's E, right? Okay, yeah, alright, so it's not that hard, is it? There we go. That is W. Uh, it better be in, in semi English. Uh, what was it? N. It's not an N, is it? But it's an A. Uh, that is a, a flambeau. A flambeau is an M. Um. A smibble with where do we where's smibble with smibble with is a coo and we've got oh yep there we go and that is an I that makes close to no sense okay It was pretty clear from the lack of dust that someone had been working very recently at this desk. Hmm. Oh my god. The sheet was a printout with my personal information. Everything from my favorite food to my waist size. They were right about chocolate. But come on guys, I'm a size 10. There was even a picture of me <laughs> taken with a telephoto lens. Carchon wouldn't have taken these pictures himself. This was big. And organized. I was part of it. And people were getting murdered. Murdered. Okay. One thing was clear. Someone connected to Carchon had been watching me. The dregs at the bottom of the mug hadn't dried out or gone moldy. Oh. It wasn't more than a day old. A recent day. This was the article I'd written about the costume killer. My suspicions were right. Conchon had cut it out. Two businessmen had been killed. One in Italy, one in Japan. In each case, the killer had worn a costume. A penguin, and then a snowman. But that wasn't the only link between the two murders. Both the victims had been big media do-gooders. And I proved they were just the opposite. So, how did they fit in with Conchon? Okay. That's the table. Oh, I don't have to solve this puzzle. Um, how 
How would I how would I even know? The flags had faded, but their message was still pretty clear. Fascist regalia. A message of hate. Is it fascist? I thought that was a different The flags thing. had faded. Okay, okay, okay. Very tense about flags. Fascist um, regalia. <clears throat> yeah. A message. Okay. Old desk. Nobody I knows wasn't that. going to find anything in this old desk. Okay, okay, okay. A door like that always has something important behind it. I had to find a way to unlock it. Uh -huh. That wasn't going to help. A slot next to the safe door. All I had to do was find something to fit into it. It was like being back in kindergarten. All I needed now was a shape that would fit the slot. Okay. That's the lights. I'm trying to think, like, maybe... Maybe it's, like, obvious. Don't you just hate it when that happens? 100%. Let's look inside. It's awful. What do we get? A photo. Long lost had fallen down the back of the drawer. It was very old, but there was no mistaking the guy in the foreground. Carchon. Behind him were soldiers. A burning village and a corpse. The photograph was cropped on the right-hand side. Somebody else in the picture obviously didn't want to be in it anymore. I wasn't surprised. This was Africa in the 60s. An uprising was being brutally suppressed. And here was Mr. Media himself, Carchon, doing the suppressing. The photograph was not just powerful evidence. It was also my ticket to one explosive story. <laughs> so, so self-convinced of it all. There was nothing else in the drawer. Okay, mate. Right, that's it. Da, 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 da. The drawer had come out easily enough, but wouldn't fit back into place. Can we break it? The drawer had... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So I need to solve this puzzle. And I have no clue how to do that. But I feel that if I can get something in this slot... You see, I would have thought the old... Um, Bibbles.
my brain is collapsing. I'm not even reading it. Pierre, full report to follow, but this is too urgent. Rowanda? No. Uh, wait. Arno and something added. Uh, both, both dead. This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems. That all of us who came together in. are in danger. What? Came together in... All. To... Uh, Okay, um, my brain is collapsing. Jamanda, Vamanda. Full oh report to follow, but this is too urgent to wait. Arno and Yamada both dead. This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems that all of us who came together in July are in danger. Take great care. X. Okay, that was a I wasn't puzzle. the only one to make the connection between the costume killer murders. I'd been right all along. That was why he had asked to meet me. But what did I know that he didn't? I had enough for a story. An amazing story that was going to make my reputation and oh. blow Conchance to pieces. Conchance. I needed to get home fast and start typing. We did it. But we didn't get into that um thing, did we? Into the safe. That word puzzle battered me. Bonsoir, Coulard. Nico, it's Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, you cracked open the champagne yet? Are you crazy? What's wrong? Wait a minute. You didn't print it, did you? Of course I didn't print. That's the best piece I've written. The last, as far as I'm concerned. It's important. It's suicidal. You can't destroy a national hero. He deserved it. His corpse isn't even cold. Ronnie, two hours ago I told you what I'd found. You loved it. You begged me to write it up immediately. Two hours is a long time in newspapers, Nico. Someone's got to you, haven't they? Listen up, Nicole, and listen good. Pierre Carchant had a lot of friends, powerful friends. For your own sake. Forget what happened. You got it. End of conversation. Good night. Well, that, um... This should have been mm. my big break, but I knew there was nowhere else to sell this story. If Ronnie wouldn't print it, nobody would. That's a very tall ceiling. Wow. 
Wasn't there a blonde guy in this? And a clown? Bonsoir, Cola. Mademoiselle Cola, my name is Plantard. I need to talk to you about your story. It's a great name. Your Pierre Carchon story. How did you know about that? There are people out there, madame, who will be very upset by this story. Oh, really? Well, it's their lucky day. It's been spiked. Yes, I know. We must meet. We must? I have information relating to your costume killer stories. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., Café de la Chandelle Verte, Rue Alain Cour. I shall be wearing a grey overcoat. You must talk to no one about this. You can't tell me what to... Tomorrow at 8. I'll be waiting. Oh, my. Push that phone away. People Get complain it away. about newspaper articles all the time, but not usually before they're printed. I was beginning to feel scared. This guy, Plantard, could I trust him? Should I meet him or forget the whole business? I didn't have an answer. It is a tense spot. She is, like, absolutely alone, and it's a serious situation. I'd only been in Paris for a week, but already I'd fallen in love with the city. My latest discovery was a little cafe, La Chandelle Vent. I was pretty sure the waitress was taking a shine to me. That old Stobart charm, I guess. Little did I know my reverie was about to be so rudely interrupted. Somebody broke his sword. Jeez, look at this. As I picked myself up, I was really angry. One minute I'm on vacation, the next minute some clowns blown me up. I knew right away what I was going to do. I was going to find that clown and bring him to justice. Because justice matters. Justice is up there with liberty. And equality. And, uh, fraternity. After all, that's why I'd studied law, wasn't it? Well, that and the money, of course. Okay. Exactly, and on that explosivo moment, uh, we're gonna end it there. That's the end of the vid. I'm gonna do part two, obviously, and we'll see how this dude uh, carries on the mystery. I like how he is uh, similar in a sort of uh, dogged temperament as uh, Nicole, so it'll be interesting to see the two together at some point. So, until the next video, you take it easy. I'm Cheekster. Bye bye. <laughs>